in this section, we will begin to understand how organisms reproduce. We will explore at the cellular level how genetic information is passed on after cell division. Reproduction is understood producing generations of individuals that resemble their parents. Hence, cell division involves two main goals. Firstly, cells need to divide during repair processes as well as growth in size of an organism. Secondly, cells need to regenerate as method of reproduction. The continuity of life revolves around the cell cycle. During the cell's lifespan, there is a stage of activity followed by periods of cell division. We also know that each cell has a genetic information that is unique to that organism. This genetic information needs to be transferred to the newly formed daughter cells. Cells complete DNA is also called as its genome. In the image here, you can see 23 sets of chromosomes. There are 22 of these chromosomes are identical in appearance, with one pair having the sex chromosome set. Let's see how do the prokaryotic cells divide. The cell division takes place by a process called as binary fission, much simpler processes in which a set of single circular DNA chromosome of bacteria starts replication at the point of origin and DNA is copied in bidirectional process where the new strand eventually meets at the other end and thus to completes the ring. Later, a septum divides the cytoplasm and results in new cells. We'll focus cell division in eukaryotic cells. There are two kinds of cell divisions, mitosis and meiosis. Mitotic division, the cell is divided into two new daughter identical cells. Meiosis is the division of dividing chromosomes within sex cells. In this unit, we will focus on mitotic division. Mitotic division takes place within somatic cells, that is all cells besides sex cells. A pair of chromosomes are called as homologous. These two sets are identical in length and have same nucleotide sections called as genes. Somatic cells contain two identical sets of chromosomes called as a diploid number. Human somatic cells have 46 chromosomes. The letter N is used to represent a single set of chromosomes. Hence, a diploid organism is considered as 2N. Sex cells, also called as gametes, have 23 chromosomes, considered as haploid cells. A sperm and egg cells, hence, is a N set. As mentioned earlier, mitosis and meiosis are two main cell divisions found only in eukaryotic cells. Mitosis is needed for all cells to grow from a baby infant to an adult. Cells have a life cycle and when they get old and die of new cells are continuously replacing them. Mitotic is also considered as and asexual reproduction. Meiosis, on the other hand, is the basis of cellular reproduction that results in sperm and egg cell. I mentioned earlier, humans have 46 chromosomes as a chromosome number. If egg and sperm cells also had 46 chromosomes, then after fertilization, there would be 92 chromosomes. This would not be a human cell. Hence, the process evolved that reduced the 46 chromosome in half, that is 23 chromosome. Fertilization of 23 chromosome sex cells will result in a 46 chromosome cell.
In eukaryotic chromosome consists of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, and various proteins to include histones. Chromosomes loop around the ball of histones, thus resulting in a more condensed appearance. See the events that take place after the previous cell division. Cells undergo a cell growth followed by DNA synthesis and cell division. If you look at this diagram, the cell undergoes cell division about 10% of its life cycle. The remaining 90% is spent in G1, S, and G2 phases. The cell spends the majority of its life cycle and in interphase. G1 phase involves cell growth right after cell division and involves new proteins synthesized for cell growth. S phase includes DNA replication. G2 involves further growth and getting ready for cell division. At the end of each mitotic division, the cytoplasm divides in a process called as cytokinesis, which results in separate daughter cells. Mitosis, chromatin number is maintained from generation to generation. The paired chromosome separates out the unduplicated chromosome shown in the image is moving towards the opposite poles. Mitosis is a form of nuclear division that maintains chromosome number. Mitosis proceeds in five stages during, the, du during which the duplicated chromosomes are aligned separated and moved to the opposite poles of the cell. The result are two identical daughter cells. Once these five stages are completed and is followed by a physical separation of the cytoplasm during cytokinesis, then two new cells. Prophase is the first stage of mitosis in which chromosomes starts becoming visible and condensed to take fibers. Nuclear envelope also starts breaking down. Centrioles move towards opposite poles. Chromosomes continue to condense and also anchor in these microtubules, forming a spindle arrangement where chromosomes are attached by the centromeres, which are constriction in the middle of the chromosome to help it anchor to the microtubules. phase is a stage where chromosomes are aligned at an equatorial plate. This is one of the most noticeable stages to identify during cell division seen under the microscope. Centromere is split and moved towards opposite poles and drags the sister chromatid towards the opposite pole. Each chromosome consists of two strands are also called a sister chromatids. At this time, spindle fibers begin to elongate the cell. Phase is identified as a stage where chromosomes have moved towards opposite end and start handling out. Nuclear envelope starts appearing and the spindle fibers break down. Almost all the steps are opposites to its initiating process. This is the last stage of the cell division and be followed by separation of the cytoplasm. Cell division is followed by cytokinesis. In animal cells, a furrow appears that it separates the daughter cells. In plant cells, a new cell wall separates the daughter cells. in the image, animal cells developing a cleavage furrow that is formed by contractile rings which are composed of microfilaments are pulling the cell in a word and eventually dividing the cytoplasm. Cells, a cell plate forms horizontally that partitions the cytoplasm and divides to produce two new cells. The cell plate enlarges until it merges with the cell wall. 
The length of the cycle is variable based on the organism. Bacterial cells divide in 20 minutes. Human cells may take up to 24 hours. It is essential that cell division is error-free. However, mistakes do happen. In nature, to prevent incorrect cell division, there are three main cell cycle checkpoints. These checkpoints measure the favorable conditions and they are at the end of G1, end of G2, and during metaphase. At either stage, if the cell does not meet its requirement, the cell will not proceed to the next stage. Points determines if the genomic DNA is replicated correctly. The G2 checkpoint measures that all chromosomes have been replicated with no error. Point determines if the sister chromatids are attached to the spindle fibers. Watch the animation that represents what happens at each checkpoint malfunctioning. What happens when there are mitotic abnormalities? Genes called as for a positive cell cycle regulation are called as proto-oncogenes. These genes can result in mutated oncogenes. Oncogenes cause cancer. Disruption to the cell cycle can lead to a malfunction where the cell cycle keeps on continuing with no closure. This results in a mass of cells that continuously keep on dividing and form cancer. Like proto-oncogene, there are proteins that prevent cancers. These proteins are coded through tumor suppressor genes, genes that prevent undergoing uncontrolled division. When these genes are mutated, example, p53 gene has been identified in human tumor cells. A damaged p53 gene can result in the cell behaving as if there are no mutations and a continuous cell division to accumulate new cells. Proto-oncogenes are like your gas pedal in the car, while tumor suppressant genes are your brakes. Either malfunction will have severe consequences. Cancer is the result of a controlled cell division caused by a breakdown of any of the processes discussed in this unit. Faulty instructions result in damaged daughter cells, which will then accumulate, become abnormality. Cancer is a collective term used to signify uncontrolled cell division in a benign tumor which is not a malignant tumor, which is a cancer, but benign tumors can result in serious conditions. In other words, benign tumors are non-cancerous growths in the body. This concludes our coverage on the first part of cell division, and we will continue to study more cell division in coming lectures.